One of the things we've been doing since living here is this idea of trying to sort of recontextualize what we do, trying to be sort of like part of where we work, part of where we live. It's the idea of responding to here and being part of here. Thinking about my walks taken around the fields and around the area, mainly the fields, because David and I do three times daily, four times daily, we go right round. And so I'm thinking about the views around us is so changeable. And you get beautiful days like this where it's so sunny and bright and then the deluge of rain, but just watching how the distant land, farmland, even over to Wales, how it changes, how the light changes, how the grass changes colour. That all feeds into then coming back in and drawing into these panels and trying to get something across in the work from what I'm seeing. Every time there's something new, something's changed, something's developed, grown or died back. I suppose the kind of unifying thing across all of this work and the kind of continuing theme through all of the work, whether they're the larger, more complex pieces or these small pieces, is um, the idea of the cabinet of curiosity. These are all collecting cabinets. They're quite definitely three-dimensional objects. Furniture isn't a pictorial experience. It doesn't have much as the, you know, in the same way that the farmyard buildings and the industrial structures don't have. This work doesn't have a front and a back. I try and but well, I hope and I try and construct and design them in such a way that they invite a sort of all round viewing that someone walks around and looks at the back. And that, of course, takes time. So it becomes a sort of time based experience. Where, where an object really comes to life and has a social life is when it goes out and people put stuff in it or on it, the objects that are meaningful to them. Whether that's a highly collectible piece of metalwork or ceramics, or, you know, you, you're sort of a lock of your children's hair or your granddad's pen knife or your dad's chisels or something you know just these objects that we that most of us have around that the object that the thing then becomes sort of contextualized animated it becomes part of our lives and that goes on for years and years however long it takes me to make something in here something might be sitting in here gestating being half made and going backwards and forwards for for a year or two but i'm hoping that the stuff that goes out there will be part of a greater sort of complex of objects, of lives and of co-relationships with objects and spaces for, for decades and decades to come, that it's a much longer term sort of relationship. It's still kind of early days really of being here, trying to find ways to translate that, translate that sort of everyday, almost spectacular viewpoint that we have from here that's just indescribable. I can never find the word, so trying to translate that into the work seems to have become more of a way to try and find those words.